Let's explore the covariance.p function. The p stands for total population. So let's imagine we want to compare gold with Bitcoin, and what you see on the screen is the total population. Then we'd use the covariance.p function. If instead we are taking a sample of the population, so let's say this is a sample, uh, there's actually more data points that aren't included, then we use the covariance.s function. Now, to understand covariance, or statistics generally, you must check out our free statistics fundamental course here at CFI, where it goes into a lot of detail. Okay, so the function itself is relatively straightforward. We just start typing covariance, and you can see both the p up here and the s for returns a sample covariance. We're just going to use the p, and all we do is covariance.p, and then we just highlight the two arrays we're trying to compare. So we have gold as one of the arrays, and Bitcoin as the other. And there you have it. That's how you use the covariance p function in Excel.